bit of profound simplicity here. This is based on a, an Edward Wesson idea of just doing a simple tree and a, and a diffused background and some grass, nothing else. But he made such a fabulous looking picture of it. Uh, let's just start. I'm not copying, I've just always been inspired by that type of view. I'm going to have the trees coming out of here. A bit of ink. And this is the shadow in the, the base of the tree. I just Glass. It's going to be a sort of a tone study, but I think these come off. They 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 work as paintings in their in their own right. Now let's do some calligraphy, just roughly. I'm filling them all the, the, the encounter a little bit with just a little bit of, bit of water just to make it flow a little better. I haven't put the tree in yet, I'm going to just work around that for a minute. I just want to Heavier bush area, maybe because it went a bit heavy. Shadow. Right now, we'll have a go this uh, tree. A silver birch. You see the sort of uh, the heel of the brush. Silver birches have a sort of a very, very spindly lot of branches with little leaves at the ends. They're very lovely trees. I'm going to have some coming down. Just some slight hill. He got away with murder, the Ted, he doing this sort of thing. It, it was so interesting, it's so there's such beautiful ink drawings. And the one I saw, I'm sure I remember him doing at Carl Shorten and Wallington Art Group, which is a group that I belong to for many years, was a line and wash of a, a tithe barn. And it was fabulous. Probably got a bit thin there. Let's just thicken that up a little bit. 
Okay. And in the back, I won't do any more than that, other than just strengthen up some of this grass. Bit of texture in there. Some distant. Right, let's uh, dry that off. And I'm only going to use the sepia. I think I, the, the, the indigo mixes well with the sepia, but <coughs> the sepia is a more landscapey colour. But I could, I suppose, do an indigo sky. Maybe I will. Yeah. Dry it off. I've got the colour on the, my palette. I might as well just check that is dry. That, oh, that's a bit sticky. That's right. Just clean that up a little bit. Right, so I'll, I'll wet all over. After that last one, I did. Oh, look of the uh, of the old barns. I thought I'd do just a quick one as a as a foil. I've got a nice bit of blue there. So just a nice sky just coming across there. That's got a little bit hard. Right, okay, that'll do. Now I'll, I'll reclip as this dries out, it's starting to, to grow. And then I'm going to just dry it off, so take your headphones off. Right, not too dry. Um, a bit of a bit of hills. Breathe that in. So I'll dry that off, hold on. Right, now let's go in with some, some sienna. Uh, in the background here further down the hill I'll, uh, that'll do now we're we'll going with some some warm nice warm um, sepia and as that dries, I'll put some really rich Oh, let's put some bit of blue in it. Let's get some drama going here.
Okay. Now I'll dry that off. Maybe I should have stayed with the uh, with the one colour. No, let's just put some detail in this area here. Quite a bit of water on the palette here, so I can just palette grey. Right, well, I don't know about this one. We'll put a mount on it. We'll have a look. Because they all look better with a mount. Let's have a couple of... It was a bit too spontaneous, eh? Uh, bring the camera around. Uh. Bring that up. No, take it down. It's got to be at right angles, isn't it? To I'll slide that and go. Oh well. Well there it is. I can... That is just a quick tree study. Silver birch is not a particularly good one. The line and line and two colour sepia and indigo. <coughs> um, Sure. Let's zoom in. Is it worth it's enough in it to to show on YouTube or what? No, I think it's got a bit too dark really. That's around here. I think I've overdone that. I've overdone the tints there. I'll, I'll uh, think about it. Bye for now.